All right, welcome back. Uh, first, before I go anywhere else, I want to make note of my mistakes. I have watched the video and noticed a couple of bungles I made. Uh, the first one was against the roll that I made against the infantryman right here. Uh, his his value was a four. I rolled a five and exhausted this guy. <laughs> Never took him off. Finally took him off later on in the game. But uh, I noticed that, yeah, I, I rolled a five and the guy, I kept the unit you know, still on there. So later on in the game, I ended up shooting him. You know, stuff goes on. Uh, another thing I noticed was when I picked that Fog of War card, I picked the Fargo War card and then picked four more cards. I should only pick the Fargo War card and then three cards. So, uh, notice that. That's the only two mistakes I think I noticed. Uh, other than that, uh, there, there's probably more. But uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I did the suppression thing against the units coming on up. So, it's just stuff you got to watch. And like I said, uh, you play by yourself. You ain't got no way to correct you. Um, on a lot of this stuff where I play, if I had an opponent, I'm sure he'd correct me and... Uh, raise some protest on some of these redos I do but we're just you know having some fun so anyway uh, let's go ahead and start off uh, it, it is the Soviet card phase and this time we'll do it right we get one two three up oh, there you go and then four so there oh see two of them so uh, fog of war really comes in I guess that's pay me back for all my mess ups a little bit of a poetic justice all right so there we go we only got two here now but we do see these valuable volga military uh, flotillas and i'll definitely take advantage of that uh, so we'll take off our uh, units off the flotilla put them into my supply box first aid and a couple uh food and water counters it'll supply 10 men right now i have one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11 men in there, so one of them will come up short. And another thing I did notice, too, is I, I don't know about my editing, but uh, I cut short on my last, uh, what was it? Oh, back here ways on this little resupply card. Uh, I did have to take a casualty, and he's over, he's over here. Here's a casualty. My last supply, I didn't have enough supply for it. I'm looking at that same situation now again, so... Uh, that is the Volga Military Flotilla card. Now I get one other choice. And I think on that, I'll go ahead and load up the Volga Rilla. The Volga Rilla, yeah, the Volga Flotilla. And that'll be my, uh, that'll be my choices. All right, we got a dog barking outside. And usually he barks because somebody's here, something's going on. So I'm gonna take a little quick break. And when I come back, it will be the, uh, let me see. I think it's the Yeah, Soviet card phase. It's a Walmart card phase. So let's go ahead and get a little tactical Stuka strike. Alright, hopefully the Stukas don't uh, hit us too hard because we have absolutely no anti aircraft. Be back here in a flash. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. We got some late delivery of Christmas gifts. <laughs> Only two days later, but fortunately I was sick on, uh, or not, unfortunately I was sick on Christmas, so we're having our Christmas in a couple days coming up. So that'll work. Uh, late gifts will fit in just fine. Nobody knows it. All right, what we got going on here? We got to uh, pick us some Walmart cards. We'll get the first one and it's attack a building. So we're going to see what part of the building is attacked. It's going to be number four, which is green. So that means the west side, which is our most collapsed as it is. Now, if we attack that building and its integrity is as low as it goes, I think all of these units are going to get uh, disrupted. We shall see. All right, let me see. Attack building. So, uh, value is already three at least one other dice is equal or higher to three every counter on the combat position that matches the colors areas colors going to disrupt a token <laughs> not good they are shooting with a 15 cm uh not all number dice equal to dice value five for the 15 cm wow all right was well, pretty much a gimme uh five dice 
anything greater than a three. All right, so we got we need some disrupted tokens, and that is a killer. So there goes my anti tank gun, Pavlov, another anti infantry crew, and my radio man, all disrupted with that killer attack. That side of the building, I guess, pretty well collapsed on. All right, let's go. We got one more, or two more, rather. Uh, infantry suppressed defender armor attack building. So we start over here, and uh, these guys are shooting with two dice, and uh, we got to beat a three. Let's go find out what goes on with it uh, specifically if it's the whole for a specific spot because now since they're already uh, disrupted they will be casualties so we'll be right back okay we're back all right first thing we have to do is uh result the roll determine the position so let's go ahead and roll that let's go down the west side and that is roll one so uh one will be oh my uh anti-tank gun all right uh, once the combat position has been identified at a target, roll two dice and compare the result against the current defense value location. If at least one of the dice rolls equal to three, which is what the defense value is, place the disrupted token. If the counter already has been disrupted token on it, it's supposed to receive another disrupted so it kind of becomes a casualty. So let's go ahead and roll two dice. And if any of them are three or, are three or greater, we might have a casualty. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, he's already got a disrupted token on him. One of them's going to be a casualty, but I have me a save, get out of jail free card. So that takes care of that. All right, the next infantry to suppress will be the ones up in the north. Rolling two dice. Let's find out the spot that they're going to be suppressing. Three. Next highest is no good. Next lowest is the same guys. <laughs> They're getting hammered here. All right, we are rolling two dice. And we need a, uh, from the north though, they are more, uh, got more integrity. It's a four. And uh, this one, this one, now I got no more first aid left, so this could hurt. Yeah, it hurts bad. All right, one of them becomes a casualty. I don't know which one it is. But, uh, one of these guys is gone. Oh, I'll put him over here. All right. Well, that one, they, they nailed him. All right, that'll, that'll do it for the infantry. Now we'll start with the armor. The armor attacks the building. Uh, I'll add up the values of all the armor in the north. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six. We're rolling six dice. Well, five dice, I guess, is the maximum they can roll. And uh, building integrity is a four. So, four or higher. Collapses that side of the building. All right. Down to a three. Let me go ahead and uh, check out some rules real quick and see if these people get uh, disrupted. Be right back. Okay, now they get hit again. Then they go down to disrupted. So there's the armor on the north side. We got armor over here on the east side. He's rolling with three dice. And the integrity is a four. So four higher. That nails that down. So the building's pretty well collapsing. The armor's firing on him. And the building is collapsing all around. Integrity of three. Integrity of three. Integrity of three. Not good. So I need to get some sappers in there to bolster up the integrity of the building, which is not going to be easy to do. All right, next. Warmark. Germans are pounded. Germans are pounded. Machine gunners, place them. Let's find out where they're coming out at. I have no more suppression counters. Coming in at area four. He'll be behind the Panzer II place. Increase the number of jokers. I didn't have no sticker strikes, so a tactical card doesn't come and play. Machine gunners. 
Okay, I'm sorry about that. Went over my time, but there you go. We went ahead and put him in machine gunners behind a Panzer II on Area 4 right here. So, that is it for the Warlock phase. Next, we go to our Soviet counter phase. All right, first thing we get to do is move. Look at all those uh, suppression markers. All right, who wants to move? Whew. I don't think anybody wants to move. We won't be doing that, we'll be passing on that one. Although this guy here, it's on the east side. There's no real threats there. A lot of infantry come from the west, so he's gonna go ahead and move over here to position four. Armor, anti-armor gun will stay there because it could shoot out either the north or the east. That nice little dual spot he's got there. Leave him there. That's it. Now for uh, actions, I'm just removing disruptive markers. I need to get him off of these guys here. It's one action. I need to get him off of. Uh, He's not armor. We don't have no real infantry threat. We got infantry threat here, though. Oh, these guys here are armor. All oh, these guys here are all exhausted. Don't help me about much. So that's coming from the north. I'm going to take a shot at the Panzer III with my last two remaining actions. Look at these guys right here. They roll three dice twice and it got to be a four this time I will take my <laughs> I will do it right to take my units off so three dice turn to four that's a five that takes care of him so these two are exhausted but it's a panzer three or a panzer two knocked out all right that is it for the Soviet counter phase. Didn't get much done, but did eliminate the threat. So we've got a little bit of breathing room going on here. All right, after the counter phase, I'll put this disrupted marker back. We got a lot of disrupted markers to get off. All right, after the counter phase, it's back to the Soviet card phase. So, uh, straighten up things. We'll be back here before you know it. All right, we are back. And uh, Pablo's house has taken a beating. As you can see from the integrity markers all over the place. So uh, not looking too good. Let's see what we can do with the Soviet card phase. Then we got one card. Let's see what we draw here. One anti-aircraft. Oh, that's three and then this is four. <laughs> Unlike my last time, don't, don't cheat. So uh, there we go. We look at these uh, cards here. Clear my throat, and we'll be right back. All right. Unfortunately, and excuse me for these breaks, but this cold of mine still killing me. Uh, I don't have any Volga River. And shoot, uh, I need to get some supplies in there. So uh, I do have a lot of uh, 108 third cards. Ha, 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 ha. I need some sappers too. This is what I need to bolster up that. So what I'm going to do there, I'm going to use one of these to get another signal guy up there. Let's try to lay us a communication line. That way we can use four of these activations instead of just three. So uh, it's one. And the next two will go ahead and uh, we'll put us a couple of these uh, anti-aircrafts and the 108 third position. Uh, that's this one here, and here's two of them, ready for some Stukas. All right, that is it for Soviet card phase. We now go to the Warmark card phase. All right, Warmark card phase. Let's see what their tactics are this turn. Offensive. This card applies to the assault card. Roll one extra die when making attack rolls with armor and suppress rolls. So there we go. That'll work. 
See what goes on with the Germans. Like I said, the building's already been damaged enough. And that's going to be a big problem. All right. First thing we're doing is they're uh, attacking, placing more uh, armor in the attack. Luckily, it's just a little Panzer II. So we'll roll to find out where he's coming in at. He's coming in area two. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Starts to be too much after a while. All right, that's him placement. Trying to count on over to one. Another one, placing some scouts. Placing some scouts. With a three. So the scouts, scouts. Coming in area three. It's loaded with infantry already. That's the status. As you can see, they start pouring on in. You gotta pick them off. Pick them off before they get to the house. But they're coming on in fast and strong. Last card. Bomb Stalingrad. We got three Junker JU-87s. Screaming on down, but unfortunately, I can get hit with some anti-aircraft. Uh, they're defensive on the anti-aircraft is a four, so I need a four higher to shoot one down. There's one that's down. Take away a marker. Okay, two junkers coming on in. One more anti-aircraft. Oh, uh, with a one, he don't do nothing. Okay, so they get two bombing runs with three dice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Number eleven's already hit. Go up one, which is number twelve. All right, next one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is my anti-aircraft position. Down hell. All right, somewhat of a good run. More stuff I gotta fix though. So like I said, it adds up. All right, more of my cards. I think it's a counter phase for me. Yeah, cards. So we have a counter phase. So movement. Who do I want to move? And why, where, and when? I don't want to move anybody. Not moving anybody, but I will take me some uh, shots. So, oh, that's a, that's a bear. You know, you, you want to use suppression markers and everything, but you just ain't, don't have a chance to do all this. All right, first thing I'm going to do is shoot. And I'm going to use these boys up here for two of my... Oh, he's only got one. What happened there? Oh, his boy got shot. That's what it was. Ouch. Whew. Nobody else could shoot that old... Uh, Alex... Uh, drawn... Oh, God. Who do you... I like to see somebody just pronounce their name right off the bat. Alek Sand Norov. He's going to fire at the old uh, rifleman with one die, and he needs a four or greater. And like I said, this time I will take the men off the board. Or great hopes. That one, where the heck did that go? Oh, it was a four, two, but it's got to be in the metal box. Yeah, that'll work. Just exhausted with the old rifleman. It's gone. The threat. All right, you like that breathing room. All right, got two more actions to take. I'll go ahead and uh, remove the marker off of Pavlov and the marker off of these guys. And that's it. That's all I can do. But it was a successful phase, I think. All right, so your counter phase is done. So the counter phase is done. Back to the Soviet card phase. Let's see if we can resolve from that. Right now, the threat's pretty well been delayed. I mean, they're pulling, they're pulling them on. Our biggest threat, though, like I said, is this house integrity. We need some flotilla cards so we can activate some of those uh, engineers to bolster up our building. Uh, I'm getting close to being the end of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to go on this game. It's going a little bit longer than I uh, expected. And it may be longer than people's attention span and want to watch. But uh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit more, see how it goes, and uh, call it a video. We'll be back. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
probably finish out this game myself because I think I'm running out of time and space and attention span of the audience. But, you know, you got a good see it through on how the game plays. All right, now I'm going to go ahead with my Soviet card phase and I get the uh, four cards if I don't get a fog of war. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. One, two. Oh, that'll help. I see that vulgar military flotilla. Two of those flotillas, but I can only use one. Oh, and a fog of war. So there we go. Unlike that mistake I made before. <laughs> Gee, caught cheating. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. All right, we're going to use that flotilla to move these boys on in. So that definitely gives me plenty of uh, food and water for everybody in the house. And it gives me some much needed engineers that'll take up that one. Nobody else to put in the flotilla so that one can't be used. Eighth Guard Sapper Battalion. I think I will use him since I got guys in my, uh, what do you call it? What is that again? Supplies, yeah. Uh, let me go check the check the rules on that. We'll be right back. All right, all right. So I am going to use this card, and I will put the eighth guard sapper battalion card back in the discarded pile, and I get to increase the uh, integrity by one of one side of my building, since I have one, two, three, four, five units in the north. I'll increase the north from three to four. So that's what I'll do with that card. The very last card I'm going to use to put me some more signals. And I'm one signal away from uh, removing this guy here. Uh, so it'll take me two cards to remove it and to place one, but that's what we'll do on that one. All right, that is it for Soviet card phase. What can I do here next? Uh, Warmark cards. What's their tactics going to be? And their tactics, uh, they have the option to give you two tactics if you really want to make it hard, but this game's hard enough. But uh, there's there's uh, there is one or two of more optional rules you can use in this game. I'm just using two of them, the 62nd and the tactics. So let's see what their tactics are going to be this time. Coordination, when you place an infantry counter, also place a rifleman, roll for placement location. All right, the card takes effect if the initial infantry counter is suppressed. Even if the initial, well, I don't have to worry about suppressions because I ain't got no suppressions out there. None of my actions are going to do that. So, All right, German time. German action phase. What are they going to do? We got a lot of cards. There are a lot of units on the board already. So this could be this could be it. Let's see what goes on. First one, place rifleman. When you place an infantry counter, also place rifleman. So we'll place him first. This could be critical. He's got a five rifleman. There's a lot of riflemen. You can see their stack is huge. And he's coming on area five, so it moves these guys all and up. And he is placed. I have no suppression counters, so I, he goes on freely. I didn't get a chance to use any advancing fire. Okay, that's one. Put this marker at uh, one spot. And flip over to next. Attack defender. Oh, a sniper. Number one, which means the west side. That's old Pavlov's over there. Please don't hit Pavlov. Let's find out where he's going with the shot. Area six, which is my uh, radio boy. Right here. Now, I don't have any first aid or anything here, boys and girls. So this could be a bear. If the result of roll is all right. Once the Soviet counter has been identified as a target, bam. Roll four dice. Defense values of freaking three. He's dead. Yeah, he's gone. My radio guy. Shot between the eyes. Down for the motherland. All right, well, that's him. My radio spot's over with. Sniper done got him. All right, successful sniper attack, and our final German move will be attack a building with some 7.5 centimeter artillery piece. Oh, three for the 7.5. All right, that'll work. Let's find out what part of the building they're attacking first. We're attacking number four, which is 
Oh, 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 back in the car, that's right. Uh, green, you're attacking the west. You're attacking the west with three dice. Uh, three for the 7.5, yeah. All right, their value is only three, so that's tough. All right, let's go. We're looking for three dice greater than three. Oh, almost got away with it. All right, well, that hammers will break out the disrupted markers. All right, now see, if one of these already had a disrupted on it, they'd be dead. But fortunately, they're all good to go. But they are. Just had debris rain down on their heads. They're going to be busy digging themselves out. All right, that'll take it for uh, the German phase. Or well, my card phase is done. And we go to the Soviet counter phase. All right, nobody can move because they're all either disrupted or exhausted. So uh, I get three uh, actions. And they're coming in at the north. And an armor with that tank's coming in lead. So I'm going to go ahead and unexhaust these guys. Take up two of my actions. Two of my three actions. Makes that anti-tank gun available. And I guess on my last one, I'll go ahead and... Uh, Infantry's coming from the north. Let's take a disrupted marker off these guys. He's, well, he's, he's not really ready yet. All right, take a disrupted marker off of him. Pavlov. That'll be my third action. All right. So we'll get counterface is finied. And we will go to the Soviet card phase. All right, well, pretty well goes on like that. I'll let you on in and maybe do a video on the game ends let you know what goes on but uh we're gonna stop the video here and uh i get to keep on playing <laughs> not that i don't like recording but uh it's a lot funner when uh you don't have to do all that so let's go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and stop it here hope you enjoyed the game got a good look at how it plays and uh, we, i got some surprises coming on up so uh, that'll be it for uh my edition of pavlo's house by good old dan varson games uh merry christmas everybody and uh, Happy New Year coming on up. We'll have some more uh, gaming in the war room section of the man cave. See ya.